Hello there, my name is David Decatur, and in this video we're going to uh, learn how to create some custom shapes in Microsoft Visio. And uh, what I have here is Microsoft Visio 2016. Uh, this will work in previous versions. So, uh, first thing we have to do quickly is just make sure you have the developer tab up here. Uh, so if you don't have it, uh, we're going to need to add it. So you can just right click any of the tabs up top and customize the ribbon. So under this new box that shows up, go down to Main Tabs, select Developer, add that, and you will find that it is now in your list of tabs. You hit OK, and there it should be up in your tab selection here. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, grab a couple of shapes and see what's going on with some of these new tools that we have. Okay, uh, most of the uh, tools in Developer tab are quite advanced. Uh, on levels of having to do programming so what we're going to do is just simply focus on everything in the operations tab in the middle here uh, so with a square and a circle selected I'll select both of them I'm going to go ahead and I want to join both of these together so I'm going to hit union and union will make that one shape uh, it'll cut out anywhere where there's overlapping and make one solid perimeter uh, so for example I can go ahead and keep adding to that shape if I want Go back to developer, operations, union that again, and now I have this really interesting shape uh, that I can fill with color and do whatever I want with it. Uh, so I'm sure if you've had enough time in Visio, you've needed to make some custom shapes, and the developer tab um, using the union is one of the most uh, time effective ways to create items. Okay, but it only works with complete shapes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do it again. Uh, but I will show you uh, the next tool down the list. So grab a square and a circle. And what I want to show you is Fragment. Fragment is a very uh, powerful tool. And you'll find that uh, when you need to use it, it's exactly what you want. So what it did was it chopped up that entire thing. It chopped it up into every uh, at every point where there was a line intersecting. Uh, so very, very handy if you ever need to do things like... Uh, for example, I want to cut out a little bit of a circle at the bottom of this shape here. So I'll select both of those, hit Operation, and Fragment. There we go. Now I've cut out that bottom, and I can continue to uh, shape anything I want with this fragment by cutting out and, uh, and reshaping. Okay. So, uh, moving on, go to the next tool here. Lots of different tools to take a look at. Grab the square and a circle again, go down, and what I want to take a look at is Intersect. And so Intersect is a tool that will only keep anything that was overlapping. It'll get rid of everything else. Uh, <laughs> so if you need to sort of cut out shapes in a uh, sort of a reverse operation, then Intersect is definitely uh, an option for you. It's very handy as well. Okay, so I'm going to slide back to the Developer tab, uh, and I'm just going to point out that these top sections here, and it's actually divided by line, they're generally uh, requiring you to have pre-built shapes. You're not going to be using individual lines to create shapes with this. They're kind of a, a way to combine shapes and intersect and fragment. Um, so if you want to go ahead and draw your own shape, you're going to have to use the other tools here, Join, Trim, and Offset. Okay, so let's go ahead take a look at how to do that and uh, then we'll be good to go so I'm going to uh, select a line here and I'm sure that you've maybe already done this if you draw a triangle for example uh, and you go and you keep drawing the lines from each node that shows up you can see I'm extending the line now I can do the node that's up here it's quite hard to see but it is up there and take that down to the other node well, that's great. I've created a shape. But this only works if you're able to draw one continuous line attaching it at those points where those nodes showed up. And so that's not very handy often. So what we can do is uh, actually use another tool in the Developer tab in order for us to sort of get the exact same effect. So uh, in my job, I have to draw a lot of pipes uh, and a lot of raceways for electrical equipment. So what I have to do is draw these curves and I what I want to do is uh, kind of, you know, create uh, an image that looks like a pipe and it has elbows in it, it has bends in it, 
and it's not a whole bunch of different pieces put together it's one continuous piece so what I'm going to do here is draw out uh, my curve this one's a little bit rough straighten that out a bit and then I will continue on grab some straight lines and I will move on like this and I don't need to continue on for my nodes I can just grab it at any point and you can see I'm, I'm actually off clicking so I get rid of the nodes I can join those together down there make this a little longer make this a little longer and I can join those down there okay so at this point now I don't really have one shape I can't fill it uh, and so that that's unfortunate but what I can do is go to the developer tab with all of those lines selected go to my operations and I can join those pieces and now I have one solid piece and I can go ahead and fill that with whatever color I'd like okay so that is the join that's a very very powerful tool that once I found that one that was the that was the tool I was looking for uh, was the join now uh, I'll show you one more and it's kind of a really interesting uh, tool and I'll show you why I like to use it so I'm going to select that tool we just made and I'm going to press and hold control and I'm going to drag and copy out another one so that's a really quick easy way to do a copy paste just pressing and holding control if you if you weren't aware uh, and then dragging and letting go and then letting go of control okay so back to this I have this shape and what I want to do is I want to make it look like a pipe so I want to hollow out the inside uh, which can be a very difficult task but if you use the tool up here called offset what it's going to do is make three different sizes of the shape that you just made and it's going to ask you how big so we're going to go with a two millimeter for example here uh, and you can play around to see so it made one two millimeters larger and two millimeters smaller okay um, and so I'm gonna get rid of one of them that one we're gonna get rid of and what I'm left with is uh, two shapes that are very similar so I'm gonna take this one the bigger one and I'm gonna fill it uh, with like a gray uh, and I, sh I got it at the top so I'm gonna send it to the back press that button up there send it back there we go and now I have what kinda of appears to be a hollowed out pipe and that was with that uh, that tool there um, so it's a really really handy tool this offset um, if you ever need to make a bunch of different kinds of shapes uh, like this and, and you want them to be identical especially these custom shapes that we made it's easy to make three boxes but you know making identical identical custom shapes very difficult and time consuming so that's probably one of the more uh, effective tools that I have uh, seen as well okay so uh, hopefully this was a enlightening experience for you and hopefully I've kind of saved you some time uh, personally I've done endless uh, Visio drawings and I was so grateful to come across this developer tab and play around with everything in the operations uh, and just remember a little bit tricky there these tools are in the developer tab so they're a little bit finicky most of the time they work pretty consistently but if you're having a little bit of issue um, just kind of read the little tools tool tips that show up here and you'll kind of get an idea as to what that uh, what that tool is supposed to be doing all right so once again thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in future videos